stand. Bound, broken, and in distress. Persecuted, shaken, in chains and oppressed. You've given up on life because the victory has not yet come. Struggling, just existing, feeling that all has come undone. But God said, stand. In the midst of your trials, stand. Hold your head even higher. Don't you dare let the waves of this life consume you. If you trust in his name and continue to stand, he promised to put all power in the palms of your hands. He's just waiting for you to lift your head up and stand. Christ shed his blood for you way back on Calvary. 2,000 years ago, he paid the price to set you free. He gave all that he had so that you could claim the victory. Now take it, grab it, it's yours. You need to stand no matter where you are. Stand, stuck even behind cold prison bars. Remember that although it seems you lost all control, that Satan has no dominion over your spirit or your soul. Just put your faith in a man with outstretched hands. Mm. And stand. As I bring this poem to finish, I pray with all my might that I've given you a word that will help you see the light. Now trust in the Lord. Every battle let him fight. Through your storms you come to understand that all you need to do to make it is just stand. Hi again, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the poem, Stand, right? Because we all need at times to know when to sit down and rest and relax in what's going on and just kind of ride the wave, right? And then we all need to know at other times when we should stand. That's the purpose of the, the, uh, the art that I do, the poetry that I do, leading into this, um, this particular, I guess, um, showing, it's called Color Me. And I just want to, I guess, exhort you right now at this time to take a moment and really think before you click on any uh, pictures or pull any pictures up, um, what, what in my life am I choosing to place color on that is colorless, that's odorless? What am I, what am I looking at in this season, right, season, without giving acknowledgement to, to the sun, seeing the sun in it? Why, how can I... In, in 2022, how can I expect the great and see God move in the new? And so that's where Color Me comes from. I took black and white pictures, um, civil rights photos. I want to go all the way back to the 1940s and visit the 1940s while touching on uh, slavery, um, I guess slavery times, um, and, and remind people that we're all bruised, we're all wounded, but who was wounded first? Jesus was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. So we shouldn't be looking to put bruises on other people, or bruises on our brothers and sisters. Let God decide. Let God do the judging. Everybody's looking for a place to place blame because we're all insecure right now. How about we all place our security in God? And that's where my art is focused. The color, the color art is all about Christ and all about bringing color back into the community, not colored people, but color as it pertains to just the, the rainbow that God promised Noah. We use that as covenant. How about we promise and, and make covenant not to hurt anybody in 2022? I really believe that a lot of things are changing and we are looking to a new season that God is going to do something new. If we look to 2022 and we go into it expecting more, that God will fulfill every promise that he gives us in his word. So I hope that you enjoy what you see. Christians, non-Christians, atheists, agnostic, everybody, take a look. See what's there, but when you see it, see it the way God sees you. See it in this season, but when you look at it, see the sun. God bless you.